with our acting shoots. Uh, Cam, just talk about how important it was for you guys to come back after Thursday night and win this game and how you guys were able to execute it. Uh, we knew we had to get this one after letting the one on Thursday slip. And like we always talk about, we just got to string these along. We, we know we're going to come out hard the game after we lose, so we just got to keep this streak going. Everything about tonight was better. Uh, I mean, what, what did you guys see defensively? What was just improved from from last time? Uh, you said defensively. Defensively. Uh, we just like I said, we just we get more locked in coming at, coming uh, after taking losses, and so we just get more locked in. We just start. We just sit down more. We talk more. Communicate more, and that's usually the biggest difference after whenever we win. Harrison, uh, Porter, Porter was, was doing pretty well in the first half. You guys came out in the second half and did a good job. Just post-defense in general, they weren't really hitting threes. How big was that for, for you guys, post-defense? Uh, post-defense is a huge, like, emphasis for us. You know, like, we're big, so we get a lot of fouls down there for doing athletic stuff. But, you know, like, we came out in the second half and just focused on it. We made the guards help a little more, so definitely helped our bigs a lot. Yeah, I hear you had some foul trouble among the big guys this game. You had asked to get a lot of rebounds and stuff. Uh, can you talk about just the impact you had on the game? How are you feeling out there? Uh, I was having fun. I was just running around having fun. That's just really all I did. Yeah. Do you feel kind of different adjusting to that position? You're playing power forward and center a lot this game. No, I just, you know, pulled out my inner Akeem and just let it happen. I'm disrespectful. <laughs> watch the war song like this, bro. <laughs> so uh, I saw it there in the first half. I mean, I know you mentioned talking and defense a little bit more. I know Dre looked like he's not mad, but he was just kind of yelling at you guys. Like, talk more, talk more. But, uh, with a guy like him, uh, what was that like seeing him kind of just take a charge and just get physically mad about it, you know, especially after Thursday night? Uh, we always, it gets us fired up. You know, he's a leader for us. And so just seeing him mad and getting fired up, it fires us up. And usually whenever he does that, he knows that's the way to get to us. And usually whenever he gets mad, we just, we turn it around. How, how do you guys try to try to take on these offensive kind of ups and downs? Like how, how, how do you try to combat that? Maybe in practice, maybe in shoot around the day of, is there something that you did today that you didn't do on Thursday maybe? No, I usually just stick to whatever I've been doing. Like, I usually go out there and sit down for warm ups, so I'm never going to change it. Like, if I make shots, I know I work on those shots and I make them, but if I miss on that, I'll make the next one and I work on them, so I'm pretty confident in them. To kind of cut back, like, you win by 18, like, seven minutes left, and they started cutting, middle and the middle and the lead, and that kind of stuff. But what was that like in the timeouts? What was Coach telling you coming down the stretch there? Uh, just stay locked in. I mean, we. We didn't change anything. We didn't do anything special because what we were doing was working the whole game. So we just had to, I think we kind of lost our focus a little bit those last seven minutes. And so all of you were saying was just stay locked in, stay locked in. And saying it in a positive manner. And we responded well. And we came up and went uh, big in the clutch. Cam, there was a couple possessions down the stretch there. You hit consecutive three pointers. Can you talk about your confidence right now? How you doing? Uh, I know the team needs me to hit threes. And so I'm just, just letting them fly. You know, teams try to keep me from catching the ball, so I know whenever I do catch it and I do shoot it, I mean, I do get an open look, then I have to shoot it. And, like, because the team needs, team needs threes, and me passing them up is not good for us, so I just try to let them fly, usually. Harrison, you had that big dunk going into halftime. But how, how big of that was a momentum swing, maybe? I mean, c coming into half, uh, how big was that? I have no idea, you know. I just, I didn't even know I was going to dunk it and talk it through the ball. So you should ask him about the momentum. Um, but <laughs> but, but no then, but then I saw it. For me, myself, yeah. you know, I was like, oh, OK, this game is super fun now. It's yeah. not just fun. But I didn't really think of it as like a momentum swing that we were already on the right track that the rest of like, that part of the game. And, and, then, and then in the second half, you came out and you had another chance where you could have. Well, I got you, scared. You, you tried to go up on a guy. What happened on that one? I just got scared. Yeah. The whole Harry would have done the freshman year of Harry would have done I'm tired. <laughs> legs, hair. old legs? Yeah, sophomore year Harry's out now. <laughs> yeah, I guess, uh, speaking of dunks, down the stretch, uh, you guys uh, got the ball and you dunked, which pretty much just killed the bet. Was, that was it, right? Dagger. The dagger. What, what, was it, what was that like for you to get that? And, I mean, John was right behind you. He probably elevated the same height as you did when you got up on that dunk. What was that like? Uh, it was just a big, it was just big for us, you know, because 
like I said, I don't, I don't, we don't, we don't really get, we don't get to see transition much because teams take that away from us. So whenever we do, we know we gotta turn up, and you know, whenever we get a transition or a fast break dunk, then it changes the whole momentum, changes the whole game. Camp dunking alone is just amazing for us. Yeah, we ain't never seen a camp dunk. Exactly. Well, you guys have been on kind of both sides of the spectrum over the last few days. You experienced that tough loss, now you're. Uh, experiencing the high after this win. How do you guys try and move forward after uh, both of these learning experiences? You gotta stay like, you know, you just gotta stay locked in, stay like how we prepare for this game. We gotta stay, work on what we did wrong this game. Stay with, like, same focus for next game, keep it moving. You, you guys were up double digits. It looked like you guys were gonna kind of put this one away. You let it creep, creep back in and kind of creep back in with that three point shooting there at the end. What is the key to kind of finishing down the stretch for you guys? I mean, there, a lot of tight games have been played here. What is that next step to, to kind of put these teams away? Probably just as Cam was saying, we got to stay locked in. I think when we get out by, we look at the score and we're like, oh, we're down by 18, there's no way. And then like, they hit a couple shots and it's like, okay, they're down by, we're down, we're up by 10. So we kind of need to play again, but then we got to get that momentum back. So I think that's what really is like our biggest issue. Anyway, we can't fault you guys for not guarding the three, like because they were one from 10 for the first half. But when they start hitting threes after that, what was it like to kind of adjust to that coming out? Down the stretch. How's it possible? Uh, just, just staying locked in, like you said. We just gotta. We knew we because we knew they're a good shooting team, so we just had to. Our game plan was to keep them from shooting threes, and you see what happened when they started hitting threes. It was changing. It was changing the whole game, and I think that's why we had success in the first half because we kept them to hitting one three. So. We just like we said, we just gotta stay locked in, because like you said, whenever we get up, we start to lose focus. So towards the end of the game, we gotta work on that and just stick it to the game plan. Statement when you're ready, and then we will go from there. Uh, good, good bounce back. You know, obviously we we wanted to uh, uh, you know just have a good good outing today, and um, I thought we, you know, for the back end, usually in the you know, the back end of these four and eight day deals, usually it's it's your legs and, and, and not scoring real well. So we wanted to kind of pound it inside a little bit. And I thought we, we executed that game plan well and, and had a good shooting day doing that and bounced back at the free throw line, which was an emphasis. And, and uh, you know, made it a little interesting in the last four or five minutes, but um, those are all uh, learning moments for us. And it was a good win. Talk about how would have the lead down that just kept chipping away at it down the stretch there. What 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 did you see just happen? Because it looked like they, they could hit a three and then all of a sudden they started hitting threes. Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean they hit they they hit the you know the ones, you know, 27, 28 feet, you know, that that's you gotta tip your hat when they you know those go in and and you know we follow a shooter and um, you know silly stuff, get a tip done. We just kinda relaxed a little bit and you know and then we cut throw away a couple balls and just it was just kind of like um, a little carols, but uh, um, but it was good. You know, they get then we get to work on a couple of situations. But it's not the end of the world, so we get to work on a few things on that last minute in, in, of a you know a couple possession game. So it was good. There were some positives we got out of letting it kind of become a game. They they had some great post plays there in the, in the first half. I think Porter had eleven their first eleven points, and um, they just had some great post players in general. How big is post defense going to be for you guys? Not just today, but moving forward. Yeah, I mean, it's just such a tricky deal, you know, from game to game. You know, obviously, the Eastern game to the Weber game to this game, there's different rules on what they're allowed to do defensively. And I, I think there's taking advantage of the fact, you know, you know, double A gets four fouls in seven minutes and Dwayne gets four fouls in six minutes. And, and I'm not saying that all those aren't, but, you know, we, we play it one way, so they think they can play it that way the next game, and then they can't. And then this is what kind of leads into, and then then you're playing tentative, and you're giving up buckets, you know. And I think we've got to figure out a, a uh, solution to that, um, to what they're going to allow us to do. And but Harry came in, we made wish and just did a like size on him, and Harry did a great job. He only scored one bucket at, after the half, so it was it was much better. Yeah, coach. Uh, uh, let's see. Idaho State had 26 points in the paint in the first half, ended up with 38 total, only 12 in the second half. Uh, a lot of that has to do with Harrison Butler. Can you talk about how? He defended the post tonight. Yeah, he, he just did a phenomenal job. Obviously, he gets a double-double, and, and uh, 
you know, he gets his hands on balls and he's strong and he's hard to move and he fronted like we kind of asked him to do and, and uh, you know, so he stepped up and that's, that's kind of the nature of this team. Everybody, uh, different guys step up at different times and, and you never know who it's going to be, but, uh, um, you know, you, you adjust and the group just wants to win. So that's, that's good. How, how, how big is his versatility with that foul trouble and having David out? Yeah, I mean, you're, you're Harrison was playing center for a lot of that stretch, you know, and, uh, you know, he plays all the way from two guard to center, basically, and brings it up in transition. So, I mean, he's such a versatile player. Um, now he's getting kind of healthy, getting getting off of some illness and stuff like that that he's been battling. I think this is this is uh, him kind of getting back on track because, you know, he's he's such a key for us. I mean, I'm missing David isn't great, but is he all right? Yeah, we're hoping uh, we're hoping sooner than later on on his deal, and uh, you know he just and, and, and McIntyre Damani was able to go a little bit today. Uh, he's been hurt for a couple of weeks, and uh, so if you can, you know, it'll be we'll be excited to get a full slate of guys here before long, and, and that, I think that'll change how we can play a little bit as well. Yeah, coach, what does it mean to bounce back from that loss against Weber State to, to such a big win at home here? Yeah, you know we we. Uh, you know, we, I think just the, the point that, you know, they wanted to win so bad. It's just a different, it's a different feeling. Um, you know, this group wants, they wanted it almost so much that they, that once those balls didn't kind of fall, they put a lot of pressure on themselves Thursday. And next thing you know, you're, you're down. And, and they got a couple of great players that were, that were on fire, you know, and that's how those games happen. And, and uh, you know, that's the reality of, of all these seasons. And I think uh, just to get back on track, we didn't get too high or too low after that game. You know, it was one of those deals where they looked at him and said, okay, we have to regroup and, and, and just stay solid and be very businesslike. And, uh, and I think that's what the result was today. Yeah, you, you guys were up 18 with about eight minutes left in the second. Uh, what, what is that big change from kind of taking that 18-point lead and, and closing out these kinds of games, where, whereas Idaho State was able to creep back in? You've had some games like that here at home. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, what's interesting is on the road we've been able to turn those into large leads. You know, uh, Charleston Southern and, and Long Beach and, and Idaho and a few of these games we've been able to extend that here. And I think we just got a little loose with it. Um, you know, but I think, uh, you know, I, I just think it's just something we just got to kind of keep learning how to close it out and respecting. You know, it's kind of one of those deals where Idaho, Idaho State wasn't, you know, our defense was holding tight pretty good. and then all of a sudden a couple shots go down, you know how that confidence goes and we can't we can't allow that. So the perimeter defense, uh, it looked like there were times, especially when they just couldn't make a three and saved their lives. Mm -hmm. It seemed like you guys kind of backed off and said, okay, well, if they're going to beat us, beat us in the post. And obviously, like you said, they started hitting threes. But what was that perimeter defense coming into the game? What was the plan for that? Yeah, there were certain guys we were just weren't going to guard, really, for the most part. We were going to play back off of you know, certain individuals. Um, and they did a good job. Uh, doing that, you know, and sometimes, you know, a kid banks in at three, and those things are going to happen. You, you take your percentages, and we were going to kind of clog it up and then take away the shooters. We did a great job on Stutzman, who's a phenomenal shooter. Um, we we're just going to try to make everything go over high hands, and, uh, you know, that I think that was a big key, and they didn't get a ton of just clean looks at the rim, so that's what we wanted. Yeah, also, when it comes to focus, obviously, Free throw line uh, against Weaver, you guys are like 5 11 now, 17 and 19 tonight. What was it like regrouping focus wise and just kind of getting them to move on from something like that? Yeah, you know, I think we know that, you know, we're a good free throw shooting team, you know, and I, th I think the, uh, they, I think they wanted to win that game so bad and the emotion of going into that game from a, not necessarily, uh, I think they just wanted to, to be crowd pleasers, yeah. you know, you know, get such a great crowd and I think they didn't, I think they put a little bit of, pressure on themselves instead of just playing our game and not worrying about all that and and uh, you know that happens and, and uh, you know sometimes those things go in and out and, and uh, today was I think probably more indicative of how we're going to be. Perfect. Thank you coach.